talking about Tesla here. Ken Mahoney's with me, President Mahoney Asset Management. And as we look at Tesla, you see the down arrows, down over 10% so far this year. Um, Elon Musk, who's been the visionary, and many people invest in Tesla just because of Elon Musk, saying he wants a bigger stake in the company because of what he has done with AI in particular. Um, some of your I guess, positive thoughts on Tesla, because there are a lot of negative headlines lately. Well, and uh, I guess we we'll start off with this, you know, for him to gain 25% of the vote, that's pretty much what he wants. Right now he's at 12.5%. So I did a little back in the envelope. You know, if he exercises his options, you get yourself to about 17, 18%. Look, you can't go to shareholders now after we've already IPO'd and say, how about class A voting shares and B class non-voting shares? You, you do that before you go public. But you may be able to twist some arms and some institutions that see this as an opportunity to say, hey, under this umbrella, you have all these verticals. Oh, and by the way, AI, the intellectual property that he would probably put together. So I think if he's going to get to 25%, I think that could be negotiated with some big institutions. And that would be one of the best things for investors compared to all the negativity, including you know lower prices for the car and everything, everything, that, everything that they're struggling with at the moment. So do you think he'll be able to get this option and be able to exercise more voting power. I mean, his concern, one of his many interviews, he talked about open AI and the concern about AI and its uh, detriment to humanity if not used correctly. Cool. Do you think he'll be able to attain what it is that he's looking for when it comes to Tesla? And will it be a benefit to Tesla shareholders? I think it will be a benefit. Remember, there's a lot of things to, and we'll talk about that in a minute that are kind of counterbalancing that. But I think it is overall positive to maintain 25% voting, keep them interested, so to speak, and be able to kind of really get the verticals, you know, everything from solar panels to the cars to the Skylink, and now we're adding AI. And he feels he's the most responsible person with AI. As you said in a number of interviews, he feels a lot, a lot of entities are not very responsible when it comes to artificial intelligence.